Hey guys, welcome to today's installment of EAP TV. Today, I wanna to ask you a very specific question. How much do you wanna make in a year? Do you have a specific number in mind? If you don't, it's important that you do. Without a specific goal in mind and a specific time frame in place, you're really not on track to accomplish your goal. So today, what I'm gonna be introducing to you guys is a resource that Tyler actually created a while back that I think has flown a little bit under the radar, and I think it's gonna make a world of difference for you in terms of keeping you on track to meet your goals. It's a completely free resource. I'm gonna have that linked as well as the blog right down below, so let's jump right into it. All right, so before I start discussing the actual resource that Tyler created for you guys, I'm gonna talk about why it's so important to have a specific goal in mind. I work with a lot of agents on a one-on-one -on -one basis and it seems like the overall goal just commonly seems to be, I want leads. I wanna make money, I want leads, I need leads to close homes. Yeah, that's very broad. How many leads do you need? How much money do you wanna make in a year? How many homes do you need to sell to accomplish that goal? That's the mind frame you need to start thinking with is, I wanna make this much in a year, I need to sell this many homes to accomplish that, I need this many leads to convert and actually sell those homes. Specificity allows you to focus in on the actual pathway to success. If you're too broad, you're not gonna really be able to break down the system that leads you to closing the right number of homes and achieving the income that you want to achieve. So that's the basic idea behind the resource that Tyler actually threw together. And he did this a while back. I was scrolling through some of our old blog posts and I found this and I was super excited because I think this is something that a lot of people need to hear about. So let me break this down for you real quick. There are essentially four numbers that you need to worry about when it comes to achieving your goals. Number one, number of homes you need to sell. Number two, number of leads needed to reach that goal. Number three, the average price of a home in your area. And number four, the percentage of opportunities that actually convert. Those are the numbers that you need to be focusing on. You see, without focusing on those specific areas, your goal is essentially, I need to sell more. And that's so broad. Now, if you use this resource that we put together for you, your goal becomes, okay, I need to increase two of those four numbers that impact my bottom dollar. Either I need to convert more leads, or I need 400 more leads a year. I hope I'm making sense here. You basically need to break down the system that contributes to your annual income. And once you understand the main levers at play, you understand how to influence each of those levers. Now let me give you an actual specific example using the income calculator that Tyler actually put together for you guys. If I wanna make $175,000 a year, assuming that the average home price is around 350,000 in my area and average commission is about 3%, that means I'm gonna to need to sell somewhere in the ballpark of 32.64 homes. Now if we take it one step further, to actually sell those 32.64 homes, I'm gonna need roughly 1,300 leads to actually accomplish that goal. Right He's not a man, he's a machine. Check him out. I thought it'd be impressive if I could spit those numbers out on camera and make it look like I was thinking about it. I have, I have a script with those numbers. I did the math before this. It's, I can't do that in my head. Anyway, now you understand. Those are the four things impacting your income. That's how you need to start thinking about it. It's a system. It's not just progression from house to house. It's a system as a whole in a given time frame. Now you might be sitting there watching the video going, okay, great, Kelvin, I get it. I know what influences my income, but how do I effectively impact those four variables. And that's what we're gonna talk about now. First, getting more leads. How can you do this? SEO, you can start building up a framework for success over time. Pinterest, you can start grabbing leads locally in Pinterest. Groups on Facebook, there's plenty of local groups to be exploited on Facebook. You can milk your referral network for all it's worth. You can make sure your website is set up with proper lead capture. You can generate an effective list of leads using YouTube ads. The list goes on and on. So there's a couple examples of how you can start impacting your leads immediately. I'm actually gonna link to a video that we did with our buddy Ryan, where he actually discusses his system for earning 10 to 12 leads on a weekly basis. If you're on Facebook watching this, I'm gonna have that linked right down below. If you're on YouTube, click here. The second number on there, converting more leads. How do you do that? That's gonna come down entirely to your follow-up system. And if you missed yesterday's video, I actually discussed having a tailored and unique follow-up system for your leads is how you're going to increase that conversion. One way to help influence this, if you don't have a CRM, get a CRM. If you're not sure which CRM to use, 
I would advocate HubSpot because it's completely free. If you have the budget, move on to something maybe like Wise Agent or even Lion's Desk. We do integrate with a large number of those CRMs. So if you're not using a CRM, implement one ASAP. How else can you influence conversion? Consistency. I say this in so many videos of mine. Consistency. This is not just a business lesson. This is a life lesson. Following up consistently, having a routine schedule that you follow, that's how you're gonna increase conversion. If you want a more in-depth breakdown of retargeting and building your marketing funnel, then head to the blog post. That's gonna be linked right down below and you'll find some more information there. Now, before I move on to the next variable, I wanna express one important thing. A lot of people expect the reward to come way too soon. The biggest success factor when it comes to conversion is time, persistence, diligence, and time. It takes time to build up this type of success. So remember that, don't get frustrated when you're not getting the type of leads you want immediately in a one month time span. It's gonna take more time. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want, shoot me an email. I would love to answer any questions you have about that income calculator down below. Tyler's gonna be back in town soon. He would love to answer those questions as well. It's gonna be a very valuable resource for you. Please take the time to download it. It's completely free. Stay tuned for more videos next week, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you soon. Bye.